The Cloudinary Python SDK allows you to take advantage of Cloudinary's image and video transformations and management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Cloudinary so that you can take advantage of all those great features. To install Cloudinary, in your virtual environment, use pip install Cloudinary. Once Cloudinary is installed, you should see it listed as a requirement in your requirements.txt file. Inside your Python project, you'll need to set up your configuration by adding your Cloudinary credentials. First, import the Cloudinary library, then create a Cloudinary instance by calling cloudinary.config. You'll need to pass at least your cloud name to access your images stored in Cloudinary. If you don't know your cloud name, find that and the rest of your credentials in the Cloudinary dashboard, where you'll see your cloud name, API key, API secret, and environment variable, which is a combination of cloud name key and secret. So pass your cloud name in the cloudinary.config function, and as an added tip, include the secure equals true parameter to make sure the deliver URLs you create in Cloudinary are HTTPS. Now you're ready to start using Cloudinary. For example, you can use the Cloudinary image method to retrieve an image tag of an image from Cloudinary and display it in your app. Specify which image you want to use using the image's public ID, which you can find in the Media Explorer of your Cloudinary console. If you want to upload Cloudinary or manage your files, you'll need to also import the Cloudinary.uploader and Cloudinary.api libraries. You'll also need to add your API key and secret to the configuration. To keep those secure, save your Cloudinary API key and Cloudinary API secret as environment variables in a .env file, and install and import the .env library to load them into your project. Add the load.env function to make those environment variables accessible, and import the OS library to handle your environment variables. Now you're ready to pass the API key and secret to the cloudinary.config function and create a fully authenticated instance. Alternatively, if you copy the cloudinary environment variable into your .env file, it's enough to load its contents using the load.env function, and you don't need to manually create a cloudinary instance using the cloudinary.config function. So you could take that bit of code out. Once that's done, you can take advantage of backend capabilities to upload and manage your Cloudinary media files from your Python app. For example, you can use cloudinary.uploader.upload to upload an image, either from a local file or from a URL. And you could get detailed information on an image by calling the cloudinary.api.resource endpoint. Remember to specify which image you want by using its public ID. Next up, take a look at how to use AI to automatically tag your uploads. 